Hey, how's it going? Uh, welcome to our workout. So this is our HIIT workout. Um, going to give about 30 seconds just for a few more people to join and then we'll get started with our warm up. All right, so yeah, welcome. Uh, so today's our HIIT workout. We're gonna be going through an AMRAP workout. So we're gonna be trying to do um, 10 reps of each of the exercises, and then we're gonna see how many rounds we can get through in our 10-minute uh, time block for our groups of exercises. So as always, uh, you know, go at your own pace when you're going through this. If you need to rest, uh, take a little rest and then come back to it, whatever that may be, or if you wanna go faster, by all means, you know, go for it. That's great. Um, always focus on our safety, so make sure your surroundings are, are you know, safe for you. Uh, make sure you're focusing on good technique. So a few exercises in here. Uh, um, we're going to do a step up, so you may need a step or a riser for that, something nice and stable to step up onto. Uh, and then uh, dips is another one we're going to do. So if you have a surface that's a bit elevated, couch, whatever it may be, just make sure it's nice and stable and appropriate for you. Um, as we go through it. And then last thing, as always, you know, have fun while we're going through the workout. So get a sweat on, get a workout and have some fun. So uh, let's pop down on the ground. We'll get started with our warm up. So we're gonna warm up our lower body, kind of mobilize. So I've got the triangle with my left knee, right leg's pulled back in behind, hands on either side of the knee and then nice and tall. And then I'm hinging forward from my hip. I can play with the angle a little. So stretching out the glutes. Dropping down into it, kind of letting the weight of my body go down and forward a little to get that stretch all through the back side there. Good. So from there, hands on either side of the knee. I'm going to walk myself away from my feet. I'm looking over my left shoulder. Big stretch through the front of my hip here. Really kind of bending back. You know, getting that big stretch, just what's comfortable though. Don't force it. it shouldn't be painful. It's just that kind of. Uh, light pull. Okay, so that's great. We're going to come back to the middle. We're going to switch knees now. So it's going to be my right knees forward, left legs pulled in behind, hands on either side, nice and tall. I'm going to hinge forward, getting that stretch through the glutes, dropping down into it. Good. From there, I'm going to come up and I'm going to walk my hands away again, looking over my right shoulder now. Stretch. Great, so we'll come back to the middle. We got the hips mobilized. We're gonna tie in that upper body now. So I'm reaching back with my right hand. My elbow's coming to my knee. So I'm coming back down, elbow to knee, kind of connecting that body, that cross body connection, getting a little bit of stability on my right leg, and some activation through that core. Now the other side, reaching back, elbow comes to the knee. Feel that stretch through the chest. And five, great. So now we're going to do a little forward lunge, kind of loads the leg. Hands are out front. I'm going to turn to that left side. So I'm stepping with my left leg and I'm rotating to my left to get the core moving, I'm contracting and stretching. And we'll do one more. So loading that leg nice and solid. Turn, driving back up. Okay, we'll hit the other side. So load the leg, rotate, drive back up. Rotate, drive back up, rotate, drive back up, and we'll do one more, rotate, drive back up. Awesome. So uh, we'll get into the exercise now. So the first group, uh, we're going to have a push-up, so just our regular push-up. Uh, if we need to, we can modify so we can go off the knees, so 10 reps of that. Uh, then we're going to go into a bent-over T-raise, so that's going to look like we're going to hinge forward from the hip, so back's nice and flat. We're forward here. My thumbs are pointing out, and then I'm just going to lift my arms up. So it's kind of creating the T. The hands stay shoulder height, so we don't want them to drop down like this. We want them to stay in line with the shoulders as we come up. So 10 reps of that. So if we can, elevated lateral lunge. So I'll do one side, then I'll do the other. So that just looks like me putting my foot on an elevated surface, so out to the side, and then I'm lunging onto the other leg, okay? So it'd be 10 reps, like a little groin stretch here, 
get the leg loaded. If we don't have that option or that's maybe a little bit too challenging, no problem. We can just take this split stance and load that leg like that. So that's our modification. Uh, then we're gonna do plank up downs. So plank up downs, we're in a plank. So this is one, two, three, four. Okay, so just uh, down to the forearms and back up. Every time when an arm moves, that's gonna be one uh, rep, okay? So through our 10 reps there. And then last one's crab walks. So we're gonna be down, um, hands are behind us, fingers pointing back, uh, feet are pulled in towards our bum. We can lift our bum just off the ground and then it's one, two, three, four. Okay, so opposite limbs are moving here and then we can go the other way as well. So be forward and each time those two limbs uh, the opposite limbs move, that'll be a wrap for us, okay? So yeah, we're gonna get started and here we go. So three, two, one, we're gonna go for 10 minutes. We're gonna see how many rounds we can get uh, in in that 10 minutes. So we're starting with our push up, and here we go. So again, going at your own pace. Trying to get that full range. challenging ourselves to see how many rounds we can get uh, in there. So that was our push-up. Now we're going to do our bent over T-raise. So we're going to hinge forward. Again, the hands are hanging, thumbs are pointed out. And then we're just squeezing those shoulder blades together as we come up and we're maintaining that posture. Okay, so when we're done 10 of those, uh, elevated lateral lunge. I'm going to start with my left legs doing the work. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten. You feel a little more load on that left leg there. Uh, so our plank up down. So again, every time a limb moves, that's one, okay? One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, and last one's crab walks. Okay, and then we're just one, two, three. Try and move the limbs at the same time. Okay, okay so there we go, one round down. Uh, we're back into our push ups. So again, you can modify if you need, try and get that full range. Keep core tight as you go through those. You don't want the back dropping. Uh, so bent over T-raises. So again, hinging, back's nice and flat. Thumbs are pointing up. Ten reps there. So elevated lateral lunge. So I'm actually just gonna move my ottoman so I'm still facing you. Uh, so my leg goes up, now it's my right leg that I'm loading. Two, three, four. Make sure that front foot stays nice and flat, okay? So your hip's gonna go back a little. You'll probably hinge forward a little, no problem. If I try and stay too upright, my heel's gonna pop up. So we wanna make sure we keep that foot nice and flat as we go through those lunges. Okay, back into our plank up downs. So in that plank, core is tight. Okay, and then back into our crab walks. So bums off the ground, shoulders are pushed down away from the ears. And down. Okay, so we're back into our push-ups. Two rounds down. Okay. Bent over uh, T-raises again, so really focusing on feeling that squeeze uh, in the upper back. 
really kind of helps balance out that work we're doing on the chest or anything that we do in front of us. Okay, 10. Um, so elevated lateral lunge. So foot goes up, we're on our left leg now if you're uh, keeping pace with me. When we go as low as we can keep that good form. Okay, back into the plank up downs. So getting that plank, core is tight. Ten of those. Into the crab walks. So shoulders are pushed down away from the ears. Okay, so we're back into our push-ups. Keep the core tight. Nice straight line as you move. No dropping of the back or hiking up to the hips. All right. Okay, so we're into our bent over uh, T-raises. Feel that squeeze between the shoulder blades. Okay. Lateral lunges again here. Can we elevate the foot? Legs. Okay, plank up downs. Okay, core is tight. Okay, crab walks are coming now. Shoulders away from the ears, chest is up. Okay, back to our push-ups. Okay, core is tight as we go through these push-ups. Tension in the chest. Keep pushing. All right, great work, great work. Okay, we've got about two and a half minutes left. See if we can finish this round off strong. Okay. Okay. Left leg for these uh, lateral lunges. Ooh, I'm sorry, feel the legs for sure on these. Okay. So plank up downs. If you want to really challenge yourself, you can make those up downs. Uh, you know, one up and down is one rep. That can get pretty tiring on the core, though. But if you need that extra challenge, by all means, all about pushing yourself, challenging the fitness levels. Okay. The last one of the push ups. 
because we only have a minute left, so I don't think I'm going to get through any more rounds. But we'll see what we can get through in this one. Okay, bent over um, T raises. Okay, so lateral lunges. And move this over to this side. Stay facing forward. Move up. One, two, and time. Ooh, saved by the bell. I think my legs were gonna ooh, be really screaming at me if I had to do all those lateral lunges. So grab a little drink, grab a breather if you need. And then I'll introduce the group two exercises. Okay. Okay, so group two, we're gonna do a step up uh, with knee drive. So I think I'll set my step here. Okay, so what that's gonna look like, uh, left leg's on, top leg's on, and then I'm gonna drive my right knee up and then back down and then I'll go back into that. So I'll do all one side, then the next round I'll do the other side. Uh, hand release push up, so just a push up. So again, we can do it modified, we can do it off our knees if we need. You can do it elevated off a, uh, a step, stair step, like higher in your house or the back of the couch. But we're going to come all the way down. Uh, hands are going to come off the ground, and then we're going to push back up. So it may be a little harder to do on like a stair step or whatnot. You may just need to do it modified off your knees, but uh, find what's going to work for you there. Um, we'll do a side plank with a leg abduction. So it'll be in a low side plank. Uh, feet will be stacked, and then we're going to lift the legs up like that, 10 reps. Uh, one side, and then on the next round we'll do the other side. We'll do our straight leg dips, so we can do it off the chair. You could also do it off the uh, ground if you want, uh, but legs are out straight, and then we're just doing our dips, okay? Um, and then last one, shoulder tap plank. So we'll be down in our plank, and then all we're gonna do is lift one hand and touch the shoulder, and then back and forth, okay? Each uh, touch is one rep. Uh, for that one, if you need a little easier, you just bring your hands a lot closer together and your feet a lot wider. If you want the challenge, hands are shoulder width, feet are shoulder width, okay? I'll go through as we uh, go through these again. Here. All right, so uh, we've got our little rest, so let's get started. Group two, uh, here we go, and we'll start with those uh, uh, step ups. So I'll start on my left side, drive my right leg up. Two, three. I don't know what it is about today's workout, but holy cow, my legs are like, just, uh, they're definitely feeling the work, that's for sure. Kind of getting a little crampy on me, so going at my pace here. So that was step ups, 10 reps, uh, hand release push ups, so core is going to be tight. Like I said, all the way down, release the hands, and then back up. So down, my hands come off, and I drive back up. Two, three. Four. Ten. Those are great. Uh, side planks now. Okay, so here we go. Um, if off the feet feels a little bit too challenging, then by all means, you can kind of bend your legs back in. You can go off the knees, and then it'll just be a lift like so, okay? So off the feet is going to be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you're not only going to get the core, you're really going to feel uh, like the glutes, glute need, uh, glute in there, big time firing up. Okay, uh, straight leg dips is our next one. So again, it can be done off the ground if you want. It's just gonna be a smaller range of motion. If you have a chair, a couch, whatever it may be. Legs are out straight in front. 
Keep the tension through the chest and the triceps. Oh, the triceps are feeling that one. Okay, uh, straight leg dips. Now we're into our taps, shoulder taps, okay? So we're down into the plank. Core is tight, nice straight line. One, two, three, four. So trying to minimize that movement through the hips as much as you can. So one round down, uh, onto the right leg now. Driving that left knee. Okay, get my hands out of whack here, bud. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now we're into the uh, oh, hand release push-ups. Okay. Core is tight, all the way down, hands come off, drive. I gotta go to modified here. Good, so modify as you need to just keep that through that. Okay, so I'm on my right side for my side plank. Pop up, nice straight line. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Ooh, feeling that all down the right side. From the core, all the way down the leg, through the glute, uh, everything. Okay, so we're into our uh, dips now, so straight leg dips. One, four. Nine. Okay, shoulder top planks. So here we go. Core is nice and tight, nice and stable through the shoulder blades. Eight. All right. So we're halfway, five minutes left. Keep pushing, see, I mean, see if we can get, uh, I'm gonna see if I can get two more rounds. I get my hands here. Good, so keep pushing through. As I said, rest as you need. But try and do what's right for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, handle these push ups. So I'm going to go modified right off the bat here because uh, chest, triceps, everything is still pretty tired. <laughs> That core tight as you push. Okay. So I handle these push ups, so I'll go into my uh, side plank now. So I'm back on. Uh, on my right side or left side here, I'm going to do the knee stacked version here. One, two, three, four, five. So everything's still in a nice straight line. I still feel it through that left side. Just uh, decreases that demand just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do my. Uh, my uh, dips off the ground here, a little less range, give me a little different stimulus. So again, I'm just pushing up, getting that extension, getting the bum off the ground. And 10. Okay. So then I'm into my uh, shoulder taps. So plank shoulder taps. So core is tight, nice straight line. Five, 
Okay. So I'm back in my step ups and I'm on my uh, right side. So right leg's driving and two, three, And 10. Okay, so into my hand release push ups. Okay. I'm going off the knees again, core is tight, all the way down, hands come off. And keep pushing through it. Ten. Woo. Okay, those are adding up. Okay, I'm gonna get myself in position here. So side plank. I'm gonna go off the knees again, off my right arm. So my knees are stacked. I'm gonna hinge forward to my hips. So I'm in a nice straight line. And then I'm just gonna lift that left knee off. Getting the glute working here. Glute stabilizing on the lower side. Go to my dips. Okay, so straight legs. I'm gonna probably shorten the range a little bit because my triceps are really fatigued. But I may do that as I go. Ooh, okay. Five. Six. Uh. Oh wow. Oh, those last ones are tough. Okay, so I'm into the plank again here. With shoulder tap. My arms just shake on these ones now after those dips. Okay, here we go. Course tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Four rounds. Let's see what we've got left here. Let's go for one more round of these step-ups here. So, boom, boom, boom. one, two, only about 30 seconds left. Four, keep pushing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, into our hand release push ups. Just gonna try my shoes here. Oh, and time. All right, good work, good work. So we can get our. Uh, Get our drink, take a few big deep breaths, and then we'll cool it down. Awesome job. So let's start nice and easy. Put our hand on the wall, turn away from it, okay? Stretch out the chest, front of the shoulder. Whew. That workout was a little more upper body focused. A couple more upper body than lower body exercise in there. So definitely feel on my chest, triceps by the end of that. So it's a good idea to just kind of lengthen those muscles again. So we hit the other side, turn it away from it. Just that gentle stretch through there. And then focus on the breathing the whole time. Big breath in, big exhale, relax. Good, so then from there, we'll grab the foot, pull the uh, foot towards the bum, hip goes forward. Nice stretch all through the front of the hip. Okay, we'll hit the other side. Grab on, nice and tall, pushing the hip forward. All right, last one. So we're gonna stretch out the back side of the body. I definitely feel my hamstrings just after all that leg work. So, uh, or the little bit of leg work we had, it was pretty challenging, I guess. Uh, so we're gonna hinge forward. Feel that stretch down the back side of the body. Let the weight of the body stretch you out. And then we're walking it back up. Reach. Falling forward. 
and back up. One more. Reach it up. And hinging forward, nice stretch. And back up. Awesome, that's it. So that's our HIIT workout for uh, today. Um, great job getting through that. Uh, have, a, have a great rest of your day, and uh, hopefully we'll see you back again soon. Bye.